Skarhoy's tactile controllers are universal control devices. They are configurable, customizable, extremely flexible, and to achieve this, it comes at a cost. They must be fitted with a ton of distributed display space. Other control devices, they have a few displays. Skarhoy products mostly have a display per individual button, knob and fader. And this is absolutely critical to go that last mile of achieving true universal utility. The displays will always tell you what a button does, what the value of a parameter controlled by a knob is, etc. For a PDC controller, this lets you work with presets in ways you have never done before. What is preset 1? Which preset was the white shot? What did I put on preset 5? Or 15? Oh, uh, let's put a piece of tape on the controller and just, you know, write it out. Or uh, let's improve our memory. And that's not really gonna happen anytime soon, right? Or what about using a crisp graphical display to show a little label that says it? Let's see how that works. We have a Panasonic UE150, a Bird Dog P200, and a Canon CRN100 camera. It really doesn't matter which cameras it is, because it could be anything, but I'm proud that we can actually control all these cameras that um, we have in the studio today. This is the Canon camera. Let's just find something that we want to record as a preset, and we'll also see how that works today. Okay, so we are there. Bird Dog camera is here. Let's just pan over, all right, and we have the Panasonic here. Okay, maybe we actually just recall this preset and see. Okay, so it's kind of half the logo. All right, uh, already now you can see uh, presets like wee, wee, all kinds of places, these position presets, it's, uh, this, this would be the black preset, right? <laughs> all right, so um, let's just adjust this one slightly. Maybe make it like the complete logo. What you see right now is how slow and nice you can actually control things on the Panasonic. You know what? The reason why this is happening, because the joystick is, is like very, um, you know, sensitive or sensitive in the way that my moves are like picked up really slowly. And this is happening because we have a setting inside the control settings here where the speed is set very low, the max speed, so that if I move the joystick, I will not be able to like rush the camera to the other side of the room. Now I've just changed that to max speed because it's gonna help us. But now I'll, I'll store a preset on the first one. So now preset number one is gonna be my wide shot of the logo. Let's zoom in and just, oh, okay. Maybe I should actually adjust the speed down a little bit because it's gonna be more fun if I, you know, see this. Okay, so we'll just zoom in on the S. So this would be the lead singer or the, the bass player, whatever. I press and hold. And over here we have the pulpit. This is the pulpit. Okay, press and hold to store that preset. We have the double A. Press and hold. And so on. Now, uh, maybe let's go to a second preset page. So I start, I think, four presets, and now we go to preset 11 or 15. 15. 15 was important. You never remember presets to 15, right? So I'll just store this one. It's kind of, you know, the yoga pre... Uh, yeah, Master Yoda preset. And now we have Liar here. OJ Liar. All right. The princess. Now, <clears throat> let's try to recall them. Okay, works but it only works for as long as I can remember what I just did. So now it comes, guys. We'll go to the camera selector in the UI of the PDC Extreme. By the way, this computer is here only to bring up a web browser that allows me to adjust settings inside of this guy. This guy is completely self-contained. It has a powerful Linux running inside. It talks to these three cameras totally independently of everything else. You can download software from the internet if you're online with a controller, but generally it is a super powerful device. And here, I am able to set these labels straight away without any further interaction really um, than using this web browser to do it. I just brought up the camera selector for my three cameras and I wanna focus on the PDC camera for, from Panasonic here. At the very end of this table, this is a, a mapping table where I can set different things like which input it has on my um, video hub or the ATEM switch I'm connected to. But the preset button is the one we'll work with today and here I can set alternative labels. All right, let's go. This would be my wide shot, right? Just type that in. Now, 
and let's do it pr pr properly. Yes. Are you ready? We'll, we'll go back to the first page here. Just go, yes, here. And I'll exit this one and you see immediately it says white shot. All right. So the next one was letter S. All right. It says now in the display. And what is this one? That's the KA. And then this one was double A. Hey, it's actually nice. I can just like confirm my preset. So pre-production, I would be okay. Wide shot, letter S. All right, let's go. K A A. That's super nice. Then I probably get like in the ceiling somewhere crazy. Yes, not useful. Let's go to 15. And we're back in the game. Yes. So now we need to scroll a little bit. Apparently, let's just go to 15. Type in Yoda. Yoda, I H and Princess Leia on 16, yes. And we also have that name. You see guys, this is really super easy. Yoda, Leia, it's all set in the displays now. Let's just go over here and we have those. So now I can confidently recall my preset knowing exactly what I get because I have those labels. That's what you get with the Skyhoy controller. It is really universal because these buttons could also do other things. They could route sources, they could turn on and off keyers, they could cut stuff, they could select cameras. You could even swap that around if you wanted to. All because of the graphical displays that we have put into them. Let's change over to the bird dog camera. Because now we want to do the same over there, right? Because this would only be powerful if you could have those presets on different cameras and be communicated about it over here. So what do we have on like the first preset of the bird dog camera? That seems to be the mega panel from Skyhoy. So let's just type that in on preset number one. What is on preset two? Did somebody actually design a preset for that? Double A. Let's just adjust it slightly. I, th I don't know why. Probably somebody moved the camera. I'll just press and hold to store that preset. Let's check it. Okay, so we go to the other preset. We go back to this one. Yes, perfect. Double A label is in place. What about the Canon camera? Can we do the same here? I would expect so. So maybe we just go back, scroll over here, presets for the Canon camera. I'm immediately able to now set those labels as well. So that is super wide shot. Second one. Ah! <laughs> Unfortunate, right? Etc. I mean, you know what I... As I'm now changing between my cameras, the labels are following along. And that's exactly the point of this video. I think label presets are really essential for almost any kind of video production I can imagine in schools, universities, churches, even corporate settings, where you use many presets and you need to remember them. This is what PC Extreme enables. So thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to stay updated on technology from Skahoy. Connect with us on social media. We love to hear from our loyal and dedicated users and learn how we can help you enhance your experience with live production.